So for today, we're going to be looking at 801, Banshee, Xur, and Eververse in that order. This is your last call, obviously. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. But to start off, let's look at the fit for the video. So for the fit for the video, it's um, a set that I've made in the past with a few changes, actually. So the biggest change is going to be the fact that I'm using all different shaders and different armor pieces. That's that's not that's that's how it was before, but it's literally just the different pieces of the Oh wow, I'm using Cryptic Insignia for two of them. Ooh, that's a that's a problem. I might have to I'm trying to make all of these pieces into different pieces because I got a comment asking for that and I'm making thinking of make making a video a bit about it, but I will probably switch out Cryptic Insignia for this one or this one. I'm still not sure. But yeah, this is a celestial set that I made for myself when I was trying to make a set for the grips of the trepidation. Uh, yeah, grips of trepidation. It was a video for that. It was a while ago. That should explain something because this came out in the beginning of this expansion. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a, this is an older set, but I do, still think it looks really cool. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. So, 801. Let's look at these shaders. So for this one, it's gonna be House of Marin. I like House of Marin. That being said, I don't like the cloth, which is this this yellow. Honestly, this is the biggest reason why House of Marin and the other, sh the green shader are terrible in my opinion, which is why Sato Tribe is the best shader. Sato Tribe does not give you this shitty yellow. The other two shaders do. So my biggest, my biggest advice to you would be find an armor set that has just the right amount of cloth and armor piece, because honestly, this is going to be good for Titans, Titans. You got you guys will eat this up because you guys are mostly plate armor, but you guys will notice that like my boots has a lot of plate and cloth, but only the bottom of my boots are orange. Everything else is not orange. So you can definitely use pieces like this and it'll look really, really cool. Just be aware that this yellow is there. Um, New Pacific the Sink. <clears throat> this is an old one. This is from Titan, the planet Titan. And I definitely would recommend it. It's a pretty cool shader. That being said, you might never know when it comes into clutch because that's happened to me quite a few times. And then Dead Orbit Camo, which I think this is, yeah, this is the one that has the actual camo on it. If it ever, yeah, there. So I actually don't think this looks bad. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of brown considering brown's not even in this fucking picture, but whatever. And then for the armor set, it's all right here. I fucking get, getting tired of ada selling the same armor piece over and over because i'm tired of talking about it but let's actually go look at it so insight rover suit for the hunters i think the helmet is cool i think the arms are interesting i think the chest piece is super cool i think the boots are boring and i think the bomb or the mark the cloak is terrible uh titans i don't even remember which one this is this, yeah it should be the yeah so the boots, I think, is the only piece that I'm like, get this one because it's really cool, especially when you combine it with other Mongolian themed type of things. Uh, the helmet is cool as well. The only thing that I would tell you is anything that you see that's orange does not change color, which is very unfortunate. So the arms, chest piece, helmet, and the mark, all of that orange does not change color, which is why I like the boots a lot because at least it does have pieces that do change color. Uh, four locks, I don't think you guys have... Yeah, I actually like the Inside Victi set. Uh, the helmet's really cool. I think the chest piece is super cool. I think the boots and bond and arms are the only pieces where I'm like, these are boring. You can definitely skip out on these. But the helmet and chest piece, I think, are really, really cool. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from 801. As for Banshee selling Luna Lotta for B, if I'm laughing, it's just because we always sell, he always sells Luna Lotta for me. Uh, Timelines Vertex, uh, Valpacula. Agma PR6 and then Palmyra B. So Palmyra is a red border weapon if you are interested, but Luna Lada I would definitely ignore. <sighs> Timelines Vertex, if it didn't have snapshot size, I think this would be a very decent PvE weapon. Valpicula with Encore and Headstone, I can definitely ignore that one. And then Agma heating up in turnabout is kind of like whatever's. There is a good Agma PR6. Um I don't think I don't think he sells that one anymore, but I think it was a uh, uh, actually, I have it. Let me go. Let me go see real quick. Cause I, I remember I have it. The only reason I have it is because he he did, uh, that weapon doesn't drop with it or something like that, which kind of answers my own question there. I guess. Uh, where are you? I know. I, yeah, here it is. I 
think it's a demolitionist and wellspring i think this is the role that someone told me to hang on to because it was really weird that we got that role because obviously demo is going to be giving you ammo for your for your grenade and then wellspring also is going to be able to give you uh ability for everything else so i don't remember who i think it was oh um, not specifically told me but in a video uh what was it cool guy i think it was maybe either way uh that's a good one <laughs> For sure, he's in the hangar in the tower currently selling. So the new monarchy armor is not bad. Uh, it's just a reskin of armor sets that we already have in game. So if you're not a big fan of new monarchy stuff uh, or new monarchy in general, then you can definitely skip out on this armor. But hunters, I think the helmet's cool. I think the arms are cool. I think the chest piece is cool. I think the boots, not even think. I have like three or four different pieces of these boots that I can tell you off the top of my head and i think the cloak is really cool i think i definitely think the cloak is really cool uh titans i so i will say the helmet is definitely a piece you should get because it gives you the top knot um the other set does not give you the top knot so if you are interested definitely get the top knot i think the arms are cool i think the chest piece is super dope i think the chest piece is fine i think the mark is super dope definitely get the mark because that is not the same mark as the other set so the mark is definitely worth getting and it's gonna be the same thing for the Warlocks for the class item. But for the new monarchy stuff, I think all of it is really cool, honestly. I think the boots is the only thing that I'm like, whatever's on. And the mark is, or the bond is definitely really good. Definitely pick it up because it's not the same as the world drop armor, which is, I'll show you guys right now, I have the armor off right now. So uh, the armor is right here. So as you guys can see, it's not the same uh, bond as the other one. And all the other pieces are definitely the same, technically. Not even the same. Not technically, it's the same. It's just the bond is not the same. Same thing goes for the Titans, which is uh, don't want to, yeah, here it is. Same thing. So it's not that really cool, just like back piece because that it is a back piece, and this is not uh, specifically the helmet. Helmet does not have that top knot that the other one has. So for those two specifically, definitely get the Titan pieces because again top knot i think looks really really cool and the mark is really cool hunters i don't think there is a piece that's like super different uh because i think aside from this one because i think this one doesn't have the chain mail i think that's the only difference yeah so this one doesn't have the chain mail on like on the here so that would be the only difference so i would definitely tell you pick up the the cloak because it is really cool i think this one does have all of the pieces on the arms because well, let's find out actually let me see because the arms have like yeah this right here so it does have it so for hunters it's literally just going to be the cloak that has the big difference which i would i still would just tell you just pick it up because it does make it look really cool the chain mail not chain mail but the armor piece right here or is it chain mail i get i would say it's chain mail that's why i've been calling it chain mail yeah i definitely think it looks really cool and thankfully it does shade it really well uh it takes off that uh whatchamacallit um the the uh pattern there you go takes off the pattern which makes it look really really cool and again it does shader really well so i definitely would recommend it the only thing is this right here will get it will get to you i promise you but yeah let me know what you guys think about the armor set if i have the rolls i'll have them available like g does not have them available right now and honestly uh we're getting to the last week of the season so i'm probably just gonna not do though do though i'm probably not gonna do them just because i want to make these videos as fast as possible so uh scathe lock subsistence and sympathetic arsenal callus mini tool which is a red border weapon and it's one of the best smgs in the game you will not fight me on this because i am correct unrelenting and eye of the storm Ikelos smg killing wind and pugilist which is another red border weapon we have stochastic variable under pressure and wellspring nezarex whisper with genesis and turnabout which is a red border weapon as well memory interdict impulse amplifier and danger zone and then retrofit escapade with turnabout and tap the trigger which is also a red border weapon which i definitely would recommend this weapon because this is the weapon that we've used a lot in dungeons raids this is just uh, like the one of the best lmgs in the game personally so definitely pick it up because the once you get the red border weapon and you can like craft it, it's just absolutely busted. <clears throat> Exotic, we have Hawkmoon with Eye of the Storm, which is decent. And then Prometheus Land, Shinobu's Val, 
This is not a bad roll, actually. This is pretty decent. Uh, Eternal, Eternal Warrior with the mobility being way too high. And then Skull of Dire Amkara, which... This exotic's trash, so you don't even need to pick it up. So, let me see what I get. Orpheus Rig. I'm actually going to pick up the Shinobus as well, because that's a pretty decent roll. Um, definitely racing this. As you guys can see, I got God Slayer. Me and my team got it, thankfully. So, yeah, that is pretty much it for Zer. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. As for Zer, we have the Transcendental Ambition. This doesn't look bad, dude. Like, this actually looks pretty decent. Uh, Amethyst Bloom. Looks okay. Dreaming Shimmer. And then, for the loaded question, Powerful Statement. Uh, rocket stomp and then for the stuff at the bottom we have augmented apothe apotheosis which too bad this is getting another nerf so I don't know why people would want this when it's already getting nerfed again uh, omen of Saturn we have exospor I, I can't even say that dog uh, simulation shell this is an old one, man. Uh, Vanguard Dare Vest, which... Hunters, you already have your video for this set. And Titans and Warlocks, I'm currently editing yours as well. So you guys will have yours by the end of this week. Most likely Monday, Titans will have theirs. And then Tuesday, Warlocks, you'll have yours. So that's most likely how I'm going to do it. Which means I am making a video technically for this week. Uh, Cowbell. And then catch flight entrance for the transmat effect we have cabal shield breaker which i like this one and then the past unearthed then shader spark of joy it's not bad just switch out the arms empirical imperative which i definitely recommend this shader it is really really good don't sleep on this shader because again it's fucking good uh, very, very, uh, vibrant Medusa, which I'm not the biggest fan of this shader. That being said, I've made a set for this for the. Um, we just saw the exotic for that Zer selling for Titans. Um, that that exotic, the helmet, I made a set for it, which looks really cool. And then Metropolitan Acoustics, which is the Buzz Lightyear shader. And that is pretty much it. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. Uh, this is the last week for Season of the Wish and just all of the seasons. This is the last week. Finally, we've got to the point where we finally are going to get to the final shape. It's going to be fucking crazy. See, eight days and 23 fucking hours. I'm, I'm hype as fuck. A lot of the things that they've, been, that they've been showing off has been really cool. The only thing that sucks, I still don't have this. I, I only need six more, which is not a bad thing because I think I can get them all relatively easy. The only thing that I'm kind of like really bothered by is the fact that like this week, like I said, I've been, I'm going to be playing a lot of Destiny 2. And a lot of that is just going to be me grinding out like titles because I still don't have the Wish Bearer. Uh, however you say that. Wait, how? Yeah, complete all, all major Arcana quests for like I still don't have that and I need three more. Um, Queen's Guard, I don't have this either. Why do I not have this? <laughs> like, it's just, yeah, I'm just gonna be grinding out so much because I do like the titles a lot usually, so I want to have them all. Um, and then from that, I also kind of need some of the patterns and catalysts, not mostly patterns, I think. The optative, I already got. I still don't have this SMG like at all, like, I've never gotten it, so that's that's one that's gonna be freaking me out a little, and then just like other things specifically like i want some good weapons from the brave sets uh because i've already got all the armor i'm not worried about that i've got the shader already it's literally just i want some better brave weaponry like the the gold like the the special edition i want that one just because i'm the way i am so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all what are you guys gonna be doing this week are you guys gonna be grinding some things out or are you guys gonna just take a break until the new expansion comes out let me know other than that be safe i will see you guys later